Robar the Second was dead, his realm crumbling. His crown now rested on the brow of Robar the Third, once a champion of Enos, who has sworn to reunite the realm. Destiny seemed to smile on Robar the Third, and soon he claimed the entire continent as his own. But as he was setting sail to reclaim the southern islands, a shadow fell upon the king and darkened his mind. By the time his troops had landed on the island of Argon and taken Thorniara, the king's mind was no more than a flickering candle in the dark. The amulet, I... I must fight. 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 Robar's generals executed his orders to the letter. Lord Hagen led his men to the west of the island, while Lee headed east to lay siege to the royal city of Satarif. My king! I bring dire news. They are doing news. well, and but advancing in the thorny Yara Gorge. Touches Sitaris population is Quiet. I need peace and quiet.
come back! Come back and fight me! Oh, there you are. Ivy? Did you have nightmares again? Yeah, with the king in the cave. It's because you've been sleeping the whole day. Did you come here just to wind me up? No, my father's looking for you. Chroma? What does he want? No idea. He's in a foul mood, though. He's waiting for you in the village. Hmm. Well, I'd better go and talk to him, then. Shepard, Gromar's been looking for you. Do you know why Gromar's looking for me? No idea. But you'd better run, Shepard. Gromar's been looking for you for quite some time already. Sorry, Shepard. I can't let you through. Why is that? I have trouble with mole rats on my fields. I won't let anyone cross the bridge until I get rid of those creatures. Else they might bite someone. You've got mole rats on your fields? But they don't tolerate sun, do they? The sunlight doesn't particularly do them good, but they're still dangerous. What is it you're doing behind my back? Oh, you mean the... I can explain. Oh, really? I just want to learn something. Sure, and my sheep can dance. Stay away from my daughter. From your daughter? Oh, of course, we, uh, we want to stay modest until we get married. I, I want to become a decent man. You want to marry my daughter? I love her. And she loves me. <laughs> Love. Before you marry Ivy, you'll need to pass three trials. It's a tradition in my family. Three trials? All right. What's the plan then? Do you know where you can find Melgan's tomb? Melgan's tomb? Right behind Nut's farm. Right. Enter the crypt, take Melgan's dagger from his grave, and bring it to me. Sorry, Shepard. I've got trouble with... Gromar wants me to go to Melgan's grave. Ah, uh, Gromar. In that case, I'll let you pass. Well, I should think so. Listen, Shepard. I'll tell you what. What is it? I'll give you my club if you kill the mole rats on my fields. Then give it to me. I'll take care of the mole rats.
Everything all right? Burning gold record. Are you back again? Did you slay the mole rats? Is it possible that Gromar sent you to Melgan's grave too? What makes you think that? Someone ignited a jar of Galwag oil in the crypt to drive the mole rats outside. Don't you use the oil to chase away the wild animals from your fields? What if I do? Stay away from Ivy Nut, or you'll regret it. The mole rats are dead. Hey. I would have expected a thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks.
Have you got the dagger? Here is Melgan's dagger. Hmm. Oh well. The first trial was the easiest anyway. What's the second one? You need to show you're able to protect Ivy. Do you want to fight me? No. Some smuggler seems to have settled down by the mountain lake. Drive him away from our island and bring me his weapon as a proof. The gate to the pond is closed. I'll need the key if I'm to take care of this smuggler. Sure, here it is. And now go. Good day, Shepard. I tried to eavesdrop on you, but couldn't hear a thing. What does my father want now? He gave me the key you normally steal from his nightstand for me. Why? I am to drive away Diego from the island. But that's going to be difficult. I'll speak with Diego. Maybe he'll come up with something. Here you are again, my friend. How are your bruises doing? Not too bad. Oh, in that case, do you want to practice again? I'd like to, but... But what? Gromar ordered me to drive you away from the island and bring him your saber as proof. Really? <laughs> hmm. Now why'd he want to do that? Oh, it's a trial or something. Before I marry Ivy. Well then, you've got a problem. Looks like it. What are we going to do now? I need to return to Argan soon anyway. Show me that you have learned something from me. And I will give you an old notched machete for Gromar. Do you know why Gromar wants to get rid of you? Well, my friend, I guess it's because he owes me money. Or he wanted to give you a trial that you'd never pass. Isn't Gromar going to figure out the scam with the machete? Nah, he's never even been here himself. Let's fight! Not bad. I surrender. Oh, you're getting old. <laughs> Will you give me the machete now? Easy, easy, my friend. First you'll show me you can also fight against someone who doesn't wish you well. Who should I fight then? If you head down the path to the beach, you'll find some goblins skulking around my boat. They skedaddle every time I come near. And I'm too lazy to chase after them. Take care of them for me, and I'll give you the machete.
I caught the goblins. They are dead. Ah, now, my friend, you really proved you know your business. So, you'll give me the machete now? Yes. Here it is. Oh, you better not. After all, you've driven me away from the island. <laughs> What about that smuggler? Did you drive him away? I drove the smuggler away. Here's the proof. Hmm. But don't get your hopes up too soon. One trial is still to be passed. What is it? You have to prove to me that you can provide for Ivy. So I want you to hunt three big and strong deer and to bring their antlers to me as a proof. I have no bow. Can you lend me one? No. After all, you have legs and a machete. In my time, we had to slay boars with our bare hands. Hmm. Wills? I told Ivy to open the gate to the deer thickets for you. Just go see her. So, did Diego give you the machete? He did. I've already shown it to your father. What did Diego ask of you for it? He wanted me to kill some goblins. And that's what I did. You fought goblins? Really? That's right. How are you going to accomplish that? I'll chase them until they drop. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see that. You're a huntress, aren't you? Can't you give me your bow? I can't give it to you. It'd be against the rules. But... <laughs> I accidentally left it inside the hunting blind. You can go fetch it there. Thanks, Ivy. Wait, I'll unlock the gate for you. Have fun with the stags. And if you run out of arrows, come and see me. I'll slip you some.
Did you bag the deer? Here are the antlers. Are they magnificent enough? Yes, they are. Then I have your blessing. You do. Here, take this relic as a sign of my consent. What kind of relic is it? Many years ago, my grandfather brought it here from Argan. They say there are many more there like this one. He who finds them all will achieve glory and riches. Whenever my grandfather talked about it, he had a big grin on his face. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody will ever manage to find all the relics on Argan. After all, one of them's here in Fesher. You do, but you'll have to do one more thing. Another trial? No trial, my son. You'll need an engagement bangle for Ivy and her consent. A bangle? Hmm. I guess I should talk to Holwyn about it. You do that, my son. So did Gromar consent at last? Yes, he just did. Well, congratulations. All I need now is an engagement bangle for Ivy, but I can't afford one, actually. Speak to Auric. He found some amber on the beach a couple of days ago. Get some from him, and I'll make you a bangle. You do that? Sure. What are friends for? Everything all right? Ah, uh, Shepard. Auric, I heard you found some amber on the beach. Yes, Shepard. Beautiful amber. Could I get it off you? To keep? Yeah, I need it for an engagement bangle for Ivy. Auric is a servant and trader. So? Trader Auroch wants gold. I have none. Servant Auroch wants to be a master. What do you mean? The shepherd will be Auroch's servant. Then Auroch gives the shepherd the amber for free. I see. What should I do for you? Auroch likes blue toadstools. Auroch always goes to pick mushrooms himself. The servant takes the key and brings six blue toadstools. Yeah. Give me the key. Run, servant, run!